Hi everyone, we're here at the Vertiport at the Osaka World Expo in Japan. So this is not your regular uh, terminal. So what happens here is that you have a number of helipad-like areas. So there's one there, there, and then this one, where in the future, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft will land and take off. So let's go have a look inside what it would be like to actually operate one. And we have the fortune that today, there is the hexa of lift um, on display. They have already performed demo flights here, which means that the pilot was sitting in the aircraft taking off. It's a one pilot um, machine taking off, landing and giving demonstrations um, for the audience here at the expo. And later on, if all things go well, we will also see Joby Aviation and Archer uh, perform demo flights. Um, we also saw SkyDrive here and so on. Let's go inside and check out the aircraft. So we actually have two aircraft. That one is the one which actually made a flight. And then this one also has flown. Now I just received explanation. Don't get me wrong if I miss anything, but I'm allowed to actually step inside, have this strap here. And then the whole thing is made out of carbon, so it seems. And these are actually the belts that I have to put on. So if I go like this, I can actually untie these ones, put this, across the shoulder, feels like I'm gonna drive a race car, which I haven't done before. And then put this one inside. I feel like, almost feel like a pilot now. And so we're inside the aircraft. So this one has the joystick over here. So if you look at these buttons, so this one is actually auto takeoff. So if I press this button, the hexa will just take off and that's it. This is just as simple, but for landing, if I push this button, it will just auto land. And this one is actually to go home. So if I press this button, it just goes to the home position and, and that's it. Now, this one is to change the altitude, if I remember correctly. Um, so that means you can just go higher or lower. And then this one is actually to go forward, just level forward flight um, and left and right and so on. And this one, if you look at this one here, this is actually for my index finger here, if I push this one to the right or to the left, I can actually um, rotate the aircraft to change the uh, azimuth position, let's say. So really nice, um, really nice view outside of the aircraft. Again, as you can see, there are 18 propellers on this aircraft and they all operate together. Now, not mounted on this one um, are the batteries. So each propeller has its individual battery. Actually, uh, for safety reasons, if the central battery would fail, all propellers would fail at the same time. So this one actually has individual drivetrain units uh, for extra redundancy and for safety. So let's get out this harness, if I can call it that way, and actually meet one of the pilots actually of Hexa. Okay, we also got the chance to actually sit in the training uh, setup for this aircraft, which is really nice. So um, I should just go sit inside. And again, same procedure. Ready for takeoff. So that means I can push the takeoff button. Three, two, one, go. Climbing. It says climbing. Here we go. Hey, we're flying. Joystick control active. Joystick control active, which means if I just pan to the left, I'm actually, oh, yeah, the seat is moving. This is nice. Oh, watch out. There are some trees. If I don't do anything, it just hovers. It self stabilizes. So you have to kind of think ahead a bit because if I give some input, it takes a while, of course, for the propellers to start the forward movement. And if I let go, it takes a while to just settle again. Um, so now if I wanna look to the right, I go like this. So this is done by propellers rotating at different RPMs, I believe, which creates um, a yaw momentum. So I'm, I'm getting a map in front of me, which allows me to see where exactly I'm going. Oh wait, there's a helipad. Let's try this, let's try this. Okay. Can I, I can look down actually. It's quite nice. So if I now rotate a bit, I wanna see where we are before we hit the land button. Descending, oh. Let's see. Is this gonna work? Yeah, we're on top of oh that's it looked like it was gonna be a rough landing, but it worked. Fantastic. 
Well, that was nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's a really cool experience, actually. Um, I'm only mildly nauseous because of the VR goggles. <laughs> That's quite nice, actually. So let's see how this works out in the future, where you can actually fetch a ride in one of these, maybe with four or five, six fellow passengers. So if you liked the video, again, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.